It's time for your favorite radio program chatting from the word, hosted by Brother Oscar York on your speaker platform where we are chatting about the word and from the word, putting that all important snap, crackle and pop in your Christian walk. This is another episode of Chatting from the Word. Good morning, good morning, and good morning to you. We are so delighted to be with you this morning and to bring on another episode of Chatting from the Word. And we hope that you have your ears on this morning. Do you have your ears on? Well, I hope that you have your ears on so that we may put that all-important all snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. <laughs> amen and amen. Amen and amen. And we are so delighted. So delighted to do uh, just that. Our introductory song was All, All, All My Trials, sung by Greg Owens and Dem Wayne. Some good brothers of mine. They are some good brothers of mine, and we love them, and we thank them for this beautiful, beautiful edition of All My Trials. Amen, amen, and amen. And my friend, we are all going, going, going to go through some trials, aren't we? One way or the other, we are all are going to go through some trials. And the best thing we can do this morning is to put our faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Jesus says, come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and low in heart. And you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy. And my burden is like Matthew eleven twenty eight. Amen, amen, amen. Just a good thing when we're going through something where we can rest on Jesus Christ. We can have that faith. As long as we... Uh, in obedient to him and stay in him, oh, my friend, we can talk to him. We can talk to him through all our troubles and our tribulations. Amen, amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, my friend, the Lord has given all of us on this time side of life. We are on the top soil, and not the soil on top of us. Another beautiful, beautiful day, hasn't he? Another day, another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right, and to walk closer and closer with him. Ho, ho. My friend, if you live in the area as I live in, uh, Dayton, Ohio, West Carrollton, Ohio, the weather people says it is 51 degrees and cloudy. 51 degrees and cloudy. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. And my friend, if you're traveling out there in the elements of the things, of things, be careful. If you're going to work, school, 
or whatever. Be careful so that you may make it to your destination. Amen and a amen. My friend, if this is your first time listening to the program, we would love to uh, welcome you to the program. Don't allow it to be your last time listening. Come back and listen to us again. Don't allow it to be your last time. And we just want to welcome uh, you to, to the program, but not just only welcome you to the program, but we would love for you to know that you are our honored guest, and we just want to thank you this morning for having your ears. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for having your ears on. And my friend, if you love what we're doing here, spread the news. <laughs> spread the news. Amen, amen. We have a beautiful chat for you today. Yes, we do. We are begun to begin in chapter 4 of Second Corinthians, chapter 4. And we are going to study verses 1 to 7 this morning. It is a beautiful, beautiful chat this morning. Yes, it is. And we're going to be talking about if the gods will be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And Paul, if you look at it realistically, Paul was talking to those Christians at Corinth. And Paul was saying, now, we, we come in honesty, not in dishonesty. We are sincere. And if it's here to you, it's here to you because you're lost and you do not want to accept the truth of the Word of God. It was happening then in the body of Christ, and it's happening today. So, my friend, if you want to hear the chat for this morning, we hope that you keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. And again, we want to thank you for having your ears on. And again, if this is your first time listening, and we love what you're listening to. Invite, invite, invite. Tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, your uh, partner up with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, wherever you can uh, share the program. You can share it from YouTube. Our page on YouTube, if you listen to us through our YouTube uh, station, Share, share, and uh, share. We hope you can share it, share it. Share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share the good news, the good news of the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. And my friend, if you're wondering, just share it. Just share it. And my friend, we hope that you can help us out financially here on Chatting from the Word. And if you wonder where you can send your proceeds, here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can send your proceeds. You can send your proceeds to our PayPal, Common Footing Brother Oscar York's email account, Lotex Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to Zell.com and again put in again Brother Oscar York's email account, Lotex Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. We hope you can do it today. Thank you in advance for your generous gifts. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, thank you for your generous skills. We want to thank those that have been given and those that are going to give. And we would love to thank you in advance for giving and helping us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ because if you look around, if you look around, that's all you need to do. You know that the gospel of Jesus Christ need to be spread and need to be echoed out there. So help us out. Help us to spread the gospel by giving and helping us on a financial basis. Amen and a amen. And my friend, if you want to do what you can, uh, listen to the program. We're on many of the internet networks. We're on iHeartRadio, Spotify, 
Amazon Podcasts, uh, VLC, and many, many more. And if you listen to us to our YouTube station, be our next subscriber on our YouTube station and hit the notification bell so they may notify you each time we are bringing on on episode. <laughs> Hey, 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 yes, 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 we are so delighted that you are listening and you have your ears on this morning, amen and amen. My friend, my friend, it is time for our word prayer time. Yes, it is. It is time for our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, uh, you can send it to our messenger page, or uh, you can send it on any page that you listen to the program through in the comments section, or you can put it on our Facebook page. Any page you can get a prayer, your prayer request on, you can send it. And if you listen to us live, you can send it right now. It would blank in the corner of our studio. If you have a prayer request and listen to us live, you can share that prayer request with us. Sweet hour of prayer, sweet. Oh. 
Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here or in chatting from the Word, you can send them to the entities we have just mentioned prior. Okay, you can send it to those entity, entities we have just mentioned. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here or in chatting from the Word. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name, and I'll be just so delighted and so pleased to do uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time, and if uh, our prayer time scripture, if you want to follow along with us, will be taken from Psalms, the 30th division, Psalms, the 30th division. And in Psalms, the 30th division, David composed this psalm. He says, I will a storm be, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing. Sing unto the Lord, all ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endured but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou didst hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to thee, O Lord, and unto, thee, unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned me for me my mourning into dancing. Thou hast put off my soft cloth and girded me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give, I will give, I will give thanks unto thee forever. O oh man. Oh, man, oh, man, thank God, amen, and amen, thank, thank God, praise him, David, praise him, people. Oh, my friend, here David says, David says only, his anger only lasts but a minute, and joy comes in the morning, weeping, men endure for a night, but joy cometh. In the morning, just have faith in them, my friend. All we need to do is to just have faith. Are you ready, my friend, to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with our Father this morning, humbly and in submission? Our Father, who sits high, and looks low. Our Father who created the heavens and the earth and all that is in them. Oh, Father, you created man from the 
belts to the ground that you breathe through his nostrils the bread of life and we became a living being for all who come to you this morning in supplication in supplication Father, we cry unto you this morning. First of all, Father, we just want to say thank you. Father, thank you for creating this day for us. We that are at this time start of life, giving all of us another chance. To make what's wrong in our lives right. And to walk closer and closer with you. Oh, Father, we come thanking you specially for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven down to this sin-sick world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to help us to connect with you. Oh, Father, we thank you, thank you, and thank you, Father. And we thank you especially for allowing him to take upon the cross himself, becoming sin who no sin. So that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, Father, Father. We thank you, thank you so, so much. So much for that. Father, we come praying for this world in which we live. Father, we pray. Pray for those that was touched by the tornadoes, hurricanes, fires. We pray for those that had their home ripped, burned, and lives taken. Father, we pray that you help them through their disasters, help them to be from the ashes. Be with them, Father. Father, we pray for wars and rumors of wars. We pray for Israel this morning. We pray for Russia, Ukraine situation. Father, allow peace to be ring to those areas of the world. And Father, we pray that be any boy, girl, man, and woman who wants to accept Jesus Christ and be added to the body of Christ. We pray that they do it today, do it quickly before it's everlastingly and eternally too late. Oh, Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for those that have lost loved ones at the hands of the police, Father. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray, we pray that you comfort and continue on comforting their families. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for each political leader. We pray for this government and those that are in leadership of it. We pray for them, Father, that they never make laws bidding us from worshiping you. But make laws we all can live in peace and harmony. Father, we pray, we pray, we pray, Father. Father, we pray, we pray, Father, for the body of Christ. Father, we pray that you allow the body of Christ to continue on. Be in the lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Oh, Father, we pray for each listener this morning. We pray, Father, for all their doubts and fears. Father, we pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea. 
where they want to be separate anymore. And Father, 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 we pray for our program this morning, chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to keep it on the airways. Help us, Father, to keep chatting about your Word and from your Word. And Father, we pray for our message today. If the gospel be heed, Father, we pray, we pray that someone may hear it, listen to it, and they may come to you, may accept you, and the gospel won't be here to them anymore, but they'll be saved instead of lost. Father, help us with the message today. Help us that we may help someone to see heaven much more clear. Oh, Father, we constantly pray for those that are downtrodden. We constantly pray for those who are having problems, mental problems, marital problems, financial problems, problems on top of problems on top of problems. Oh, Father, we pray for those that are preaching and teaching your word. Father, we pray that you keep them, keep giving them the courage to keep on preaching your word to a dying and sin sick world. Oh, Father, Father, we pray that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us and praying along with us and always as always we hope that we pray for something uh, that is on your minds and as I said if you have a prayer request you can get those prayer requests into the entities we have uh, just just mentioned and now my friend it is time that's the special time for our world chat. Yes, it is. It is time for the chat for today, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verses 1 through 18. It's time for the chat, Brother Oscar. It is time, it is time, it is time. <laughs> it is time for our world chat. <laughs> And I am here. I am here. And I'm glad to be here and glad to uh, be with you this morning where we can share a uh, thought with you this morning when it comes to the Word of God. And we, we're going to share a thought because uh, many, many needs to be encouraged in the morning to keep on living for the Lord. We need to encourage we need to encourage one another. Uh, I believe that's what Brother Oscar is trying to say. We need to continue encouraging one another to keep on living for the Lord. In the world that we live in today, we all need that encouragement. All of us, every one of us, 
need to be encouraged, especially the uh, trying to live what's right and do what's right and be a Christian. It's not easy being a Christian in the world that really don't recognize Jesus Christ and sometimes the world sometimes take control of us. Our thoughts and the things that we do or maybe things that we say. And I must recognize that sin is everywhere. And sometimes it's easy, not sometimes, I'm going to take that back. It seems like all the time it's easy to sin to do what's right. It's easy to get it, give in to our urges and, and uh, things that we want and desire that's not good <laughs> for us to do. Uh, that's sinful. You know, it's easy to do that nowadays when it's all around us. All we need to do is turn on Facebook, turn on TV, turn on LinkedIn, turn on <laughs> all the things that is convenient to us uh, today. And, and, but, but at the same time, on the flip coin, without these uh, programs like Facebook, uh, uh, Twitter, uh, uh, and others, we would not have the uh, the uh, blessing that we have to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I'm so thankful this morning to be with you and be part of your your day. But we want to ask you a favor. Most of you know, if you've been listening to us, you probably already are relaxed. You already got your morning cup of drink, a coffee, or whatever. <laughs> But we want you to get relaxed. Go ahead on and have your favorite drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, whatever it may be. Not the hard stuff. Now throw that out the window. And get relaxed. If you relax in your reclining chair, go ahead on and climb up, but have a copy of God's Word. If you relax talking, uh, chatting, or learning, or listening to the Word of God at your dinette table, go ahead on and sit. Have a seat. But what we want to ask you this morning is to get a copy of the Word of God. Or pull up a copy of the Word of God. So that you may be on the same page we are in our chat this morning. Open it to our lesson our scripture text this morning, Second Corinthians the fourth chapter. And we're going to go from first uh, verse to the seventh verse uh, this morning. At least we're going to read that. <laughs> read it, okay? And, uh, and open your Bibles. And at the same time, open your mind. Open your mind. Get rid of those things that you thought the Bible is saying. Get rid of those things that traditionally will hold you back that from listening to what the Word of God truly be saying. And many of us, we, we, when we study the Word of God, we do that, don't we? We, we come in with preconceived ideals of what we believe that the Bible is saying, and that that's the same the things that we have been believing over the years, or we, we want to take it to the our preacher, uh, we want to analyze it more and more and make it say something that it really doesn't say. And But what we need to do is accept what the Bible is saying and be obedient to it if we want to make heaven our home. And I'm so glad to be chatting with you this morning. Because that's what we do here on Chatting from the Word. We just don't teach, we just don't preach. But we chat with you when it comes to the Word of God, because we believe that's the best way of reasoning with you this morning, because we don't want to talk over you, under you, around you, but we want to talk with you, or chat with you about the Word of God and from the Word of God. We want to try to reason with you. Now, most may say, well, Bill Oscar, some people you would never reason with. I uh, Yes, I understand that. But my friend, if I can read with my imaginary friend Rolo to ro pet dog Rolo to roll over, sit up, speak, uh, bark on command, shake my hand, 
play dead, jump through hoops. I should be able to reason with anyone that has a good mind on them when it comes to the Word of God. Can I reason with you this morning? Oh, Brother Oscar, hope he can reason with you. I really, really hope so this morning. And we are going to talk about, and our, our, our title, if I can call it a title, is derived from verse 3, where Paul says these words. He said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And what we're going to talk about is how is the gospel hid? How was the gospel hid then? And how is the gospel hid today? Okay? So we are going to cover that, try to cover that today. But let's read verses 1 to 7. And then Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 4, 1 to 7, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. But have renounced the hidden things of this honesty, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. Amen, Paul. Here, Paul begin in the first verse by opening this chapter by saying these words, therefore, seeing that we have this ministry. Here Paul recognized that they have a ministry. And the ministry comes with responsibility. And Paul recognized that his responsibility was first of all to God. It was first of all to Christ. Because he recognized in Christ that he and others had received mercy. Oh, my friend, when Christ died on the cross, he gave us mercy. When Saul was going around persecuting the church, Saul recognized Christ's mercy. When Christ cried to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul, Paul and Saul recognized God's mercy. And then he says, we Thank not because of your mercy, Lord, we are not going to give up. Paul says, because 
of your mercy. We are going to keep on endeavoring to preach God's word. We are going to endeavoring to keep the peace. We are going to endeavoring to keep your word as you command. And then Paul says in verse 2, But have we announced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. And Paul says, we're coming to you sincerely in the word of God. We're not lying about the word of God. We're preaching to you the truth. We're not adding to the word of God. Nor are we taken away from the word of God. Are we coming to you craftiness, trying to think of ways of getting money from you, trying to deceive you, trying to beat, uh, work many tricks on you so that you can believe. Oh, Paul said, we don't come to you in, in craftiness, but in honesty of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In honesty of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then verse 3 says, But my gospel be hid is hid to them that are lost. It is hid to them that are lost. Let me start by saying that Paul is telling the group at Korea is that he is they are coming in the sincerity and honesty, not with trickery. Not trying to play on people's minds. Not promise you a pie in the sky. Not promise you a Cadillac. But preaching purely the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then Paul, he said, but we have renounced. They renounced it. They don't do things like that. They don't do that. No, they don't. But look around you today. Look around you today. That's all Brother Oscar is going to say. Many are fooled today. Men are taken in today by the craftiness of men. And the reason why Paul mentioned it then, because it was happening then. The reason why Paul mentioned it then, because it was happening in Paul's day. And if it was happening in Paul's day, it was happening today. And if it's happening today, we as a children of God, we as a member of Christ's body, we need to be aware of these things can occur even among those that consider themselves to be saved. Even though that are in the body of Christ, you can be lost too. And that's all we're going to say for right now. We're going to say more on this tomorrow because I believe that this is going to be a good lesson. It's going to basically hit all of us, and we hope that you'll be ready to receive the rest of this lesson that uh, Paul is teaching to us here. And we're so thankful to be able to bring this lesson to your listening ears, and we hope that uh, we said enough to to uh, help to help you to think about your condition with the Father and with Jesus Christ, and we hope that we've said something to help you and to help you see heaven much more clearer. So join us tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday, and it'll be our last day this week coming on. So join us tomorrow live. If you can, and if you can't, of course, we're going to share it with you. And when we share it with you, share it with others. Amen and amen. Will you pray with me, please, our Father, which art in heaven. Father, we come in humble minds, humble hearts. Father, thanking you for the opportunity to come and to teach 
and to preach your word here on Chatting from the Word. Father, we pray that you help us to keep this fine program uh, going and going. Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them with their Christian walk. Help them to have that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that they are taking, being proud that they are Christians, and holding their head up high, showing the world Christ in them. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless. Justice!